हेलो नमस्कार एंड अवाक टू ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड एस्ट्रोलॉजर एंड गाइड इरफान वंस मोर विथ यू फ्रॉम योर वेरी ओन चैनल एस्ट्रो अश्योरेंस इन द नंबर ऑफ सीरीज दैट वी हैव बीन डूइंग वन ऑफ द सीरीज दैट वी हैव बीन डूइंग इज द planets being in the nakshatras of the other planets now we know that planets will be in some or the other nakshatra however by virtue of being in a certain nakshatra they also carry the energies the possibilities the personality the character of the nakshatra also and the planet also gets influenced by that energy and when it acts out its own energy it acts out with the flavor of the nakshatra and the nakshatra lord and hence because this becomes a little tricky combination it's important for us to understand in which nakshatras are different planets which rule different areas of our lives go the simple reason being is if we just see mars going into the sign of cancer you will say that mars is debilitated but if you know exactly which nakshatra mars has gone in then we can also work out the flavor mars is getting while in the debilitation sign of cancer because on paper they look to be opposite energies mars is fire cancer is a cancer is a watery sign however when we go deep down into the realm of the nakshatras and look at what is the energy of the nakshatra and through that energy what is the quality what is the personality it is giving to the planet here we are talking about mars then we will get to know and understand the personality of the person better understand our own manifestation why we act in a certain manner why don't we act in a certain manner and how do we make best use of that possibility so today i'm going to talk about mars being in the nakshatras or different planets we have already done the presence of rahu sun venus mercury in the nakshatras of others today we will talk about mars being in the nakshatras or different planets because this is a very important topic one of the reasons it is very important is because mars is the most malefic of planets and mars is the fire the will power the energy of your personality your character now if you have a strong sun you will be more accountable you will be more responsible you will also be leadership oriented if you have moon you will be empathetic you will also be emotional you will also be understanding but where is the energy to do something for that we need mars if mars is completely out of energy if mars is completely combusted mars is in no power itself mars itself is very very troubled then various situations will find us in lacking in energy not being able to do things not being able to get goals and let me tell you one thing a strong mars in the 10th house especially either in aries or in capricorn can overturn all sorts of problems all sorts of challenges such a person even in the most dire of circumstances will come out a winner because of the fighting capabilities mars gives that person the person may be emotionally down and out the person may be down and out in his empathy but will be a fighter will not succumb will not drown and against all odds the person will be able to keep himself or herself above water and survive and do very well also in certain certain circumstances especially if there are no malefics involved on mars no malefic aspects mars is strong either in any other fire signs or friendly or helpful signs or exaltation sign they very seldom can anybody keep this person down so let's jump into the presence of mars in the different nakshatras or different planets to understand the variation mars gets us to be able to execute this energy better now when mars goes into the nakshatras ruled by the sun sun ruled nakshatras have fire energies and earth energies in fact they have some component of fire energies and larger component of the earth energies so when mars goes into the nakshatra ruled by sun mars also acquires both the fiery ability given by the sun but also gets earthiness the detail orientedness the steadfastness that earth nakshatras earth energies give you so when mars goes into any of the three nakshatra ruled by the sun for example if it goes into the nakshatra of kritika kritika has one pada in aries the fire sign and three padas in taurus the earth sign whereas if it goes into uttara phalguni one pada in leo three padas in virgo 
if it goes into uttarashada one pada in sagittarius three padas in capricorn so here in any of the sun rule nakshatras one part of fire energies three parts of earth energies so such a person is extremely steadfast in his or her goal orientation this person will not lose time will not lose energy will not lose resolve to be able to get whatever he or she wants so a very steadfast general who will go and attain his or her goals at any cost very seldom will they let go of their goals they can be diverted from their goals from time to time because of some instances yet they are very steadfast in the ability to go and be go getters and achieve their targets now basis which nakshatra they are in obviously that flavor will come in for example if they are in kritika aries sign energies and taurus sign energy so here the person may be little more materialistic however if mars is in the nakshatra of uttara falguni then one pad of leo then this person may be more responsible more accountable while getting his goal but because the three padas are in virgo then this person will also be more service oriented otherwise if it goes into uttara uttara shada then one pad of sagittarius very go getting very adventurous but also very loyal very committed very diligent that capricorn energies give you so depending on which nakshatra mars goes when it goes into the nakshatra rule by sun that kind of variation that kind of personality will come into the person when mars goes into the nakshatra rule by mercury all the mercury ruled nakshatras are water nakshatras or in a water signs which means that first of all mars is a very very fire energy and now it goes into the nakshatras ruled by mercury but all of them lie in a water sign for example if mars goes into ashlesha all the four padas of of ashlesha are in cancer if it goes into jeshta all the four padas of jeshta are in scorpio if it goes into revati then all the four padas of revati are in pisces now if it goes in into ashlesha all the four padas in cancer then here because mars is also in its debilitation sign so here the person will acquire high emotionality which the water sign gives but also high fluidity high flexibility but many time this person doesn't know who to fight who to stand up for and ends up fighting actually the people who the person may actually need to stand by fight for rather than against so this person gets very very confused mars loses a lot of its energy also in the nakshatra of ashlesha because mars does not know how to use empathy understanding mars is a ruthless character so here the person can be a little confused because of mars going into his debilitation sign however if the person can curb his or her emotionality his or her fiery temper temperamental nature and be more cool headed and allow the emotionality of the upper hand then this person can still make the mars work towards at least relationship if nothing else mars going into jeshta all four padas are in scorpio here mars is more comfortable because it's in the sign of scorpio which is its own sign but because it is water energy especially when it goes into jeshta so here the person is very fluid on how he or she applies their fieriness their goal orientation their ability to wanting to win at any cost and because it is scorpio sign energies also when it gets into jeshta this person is very deep this person will not mind working hard going into the depth of the subject to be able to come out on top this can also be a good nakshatra for mars to be in especially in the field of medicine or even surgery on the other hand if mars goes into the nakshatra of revati where all four padas are in pisces this person can be extremely outgoing extremely hard working and this person can stand up for much larger causes even sometime at the cost of self but there is high emotionality high idealism also to this energy of mars so this has to be tempered better so that you can extract the best results of mars getting into the nakshatra of revati when mars goes into the nakshatras ruled by venus all the nakshatras ruled by venus are in fiery signs for example if mars goes into the nakshatra of bharani all four padas of bharani are in aries on the other hand if it goes into purva falguni all the four padas of purva falguni are in leo if it goes into the nakshatra of purva shada all the four padas of purva shada are in sagittarius so here the person will have extremely fiery resolve extremely fiery energy i remember once one girl was consulting me and her mars was in the nakshatra of purva falguni 
in the sign of Leo. So she was extremely goal oriented, wanting to get her goals at any cost. And Mars was in the fifth house. So here this person was very keen on getting married to the person that she was in love with. Mars in Leo with the nakshatra of Purva Falguni having Venus energies. So this girl tells me that I want to marry this person. My mother is putting us impediment to me getting married to this guy and please sir you talk to my mother you somehow convince her because she likes you a lot so after a lot of consultation when she was not understanding she ended up saying sir why don't you get married to my mother she likes you a lot she will be out of my way she is not letting go of me because under other than me she has nobody in her life so i said why would i get married to your mother even if she likes me then she says no because i know you are you must not be in a relationship how do you know that I am not in the relationship? Because you are all the time happy, you are <laughs> all the time you are smiling. So I said, oh, so you want to get married to this guy, the dream boy of yours, so that you can make his life unhappy. Is this who you are? So I learned one thing that day. A person who smiles a lot, especially a man who smiles a lot, laughs a lot, it's a giveaway sign that the person is <laughs> not in a relationship and he is open to marry all mothers. So anyways, so it was a funny thing. So Mars getting into the nakshatra of Venus can also be very passionate person, very romantic person also, but very go-getting, wanting to get what he or she wants. It can be very materialistic. For example, if Mars gets into the nakshatra of Bharani, but it can be more romantic, more intimate also when it gets into Purva Falguni. On the other hand, if it goes into Purva Shada, Sagittarius energy, this person is very adventurous person, very fun loving person, very witty person also and can go against all odds to get what he or she wants. So depending on which Nakshatra Mars is getting into, Nakshatra is ruled by Venus, that flavor will come in. So if you have Mars in the Nakshatra of Venus, be more steady rather than losing your game in emotions controlled by Venus. Now when Mars goes into the Nakshatra is ruled by moon while on one hand moon looks to be a watery planet because it rules cancer sign however all the nakshatras have earth energies strong earth energy strong steady energies so don't be fooled when Mars goes into the nakshatras ruled by the moon on one hand because they are moon ruled nakshatras the emotionality will be there the creativity will be there the imagination will be there the understanding the empathy will be there however because they are earth ruled energies earth energies of all the three nakshatras whether it is rohini or hasta or shramana so this person will be very emotional very understanding very empathetic but very steady in his or her emotion especially if these people take upon a task to be more nurturing more caring for others nothing or no, nobody can stop this person especially if it goes into the nakshatra of rohini where all four padas are in taurus then this person can be very materialistic but for family for his community on the other hand if it goes into the nakshatra of hasta where all four padas are in virgo this person can be extremely steady in his service orientation and nobody can take the service orientation from him either he will be very service orientation towards his family or towards a larger goal or towards his team towards his organization towards his department or some cause that this person believes in on the other hand if mark goes into the nakshatra of shravana extremely creative but all for padas and capricorn very loyal very committed very dedicated and will not move away because of the steadiness of earth energies this person will not move away from his or her responsibility of also being committed and loyal while being very responsible so mars going into the nakshatra is ruled by moon high creativity high imagination but high steadiness is what mars will be given when it goes into the nakshatras of either rohini hasta or shravana now when mars goes into the nakshatras ruled by itself these nakshatras have very high earth energies or air energies. For example, if Mars goes into the nakshatra of Mrigashira, then two padas of Mrigashira are in Taurus, two padas are in Gemini. Or if it goes into Chitra, two padas are in Virgo, two padas are in Libra. Or if it goes into Dhanishta in the sign of Capricorn, where it also gets exalted. Two padas are in Capricorn, two padas are in Aquarius. So having both air, earth and air sign, this is a good combination of steadiness on one hand, but social awareness, connections, relationships on the other. So this person is very steady in how he or she is a go-getter and getting his or her goals. 
but will also have the social importance social connection is important social relationship importance also so this is a person who is go getter ruthless very loyal very defending of his or her connections of his or her family of his or her friends his or her cause that they believe in so if it gets into mega shira two padas and taurus and two padas in gemini then this person will use his or her communication skill ability to be able to influence others to a form of material gains which taurus represents but this material gains will be for his social cause or for his social connection maybe for his family if it gets into chitra two padas in virgo extremely social but for a cause to serve others serve his connection serve his family serve his lover serve his children but very very relationship oriented because the other two padas are in libra so mars can give you excellent results when it gets into chitra the service orientation for his or her connections for his or her relationship will be at the top of the table if it gets into dhanishta one of the best nakshatras for mars to be in very very high goal oriented very very committed very very disciplined and for a large social cause which aquarius represents that's why mars get exalted in the sign of capricorn because it has very strong dedication strategic awareness but when it gets into dhanishta it also has the aquarius energies and so this person will be the best to be able to do most for the masses this can be a person who because of his sheer goal orientation and will power we will be able to do over masses multitudes of people if mars is very strong in his gor horoscope and it is in the nakshatra of dhanishta now when mars gets into the nakshatra is ruled by jupiter air energies water energies but there are more air energies in jupiter ruled nakshatra than water energies the reason being is for example if mars gets into the nakshatra of punarvasu three padas in gemini one pada in cancer or if it gets into vishaka three padas in libra one pada in scorpio or if it gets into purva bhadra pada three padas in aquarius one pada in pisces so yeah there will there is very high air energies in the jupiter ruled nakshatras and one part is water energy so this person is very very fluid very flexible but for his or her social connections for his or her relationship orientedness also which air energy is getting in fact this person is very very relationship oriented very very important for him or her to be able to stand by his friends stand by his goals stand by his spouse stand by his girlfriend stand by his children stand by his family stand by his boss for example but depending on which nakshatra it is getting in it will also bring in its own flavor for example if it gets into punarvasu one of the best nakshatras of mars to get into this person because of three padas in gemini will be extremely communication oriented very very good at communicating with others and flooring others and with a lot of empathy understanding caring attitude which cancer brings in but if it gets into vishaka this person will be extremely relate relationship oriented because three padas in libra and will be very deep will be very magnetic will also attract people to him or her because of one pada being in scorpio on the other hand if it gets into purva bhadra pada three padas in aquarius extremely society orientation extreme mass orientation and one pada in pisces extremely highly idealistic nature also so this person will go out of the way in an idealistic manner to be able to do or stand up for or fight for social causes so whichever nakshatra mars gets into in the nakshatra is ruled by jupiter the wisdom orientation of jupiter will also come in but the flavor of the nakshatra and nakshatra energies will also come in but because they are still jupiter nakshatras a lot of wisdom a lot of patience also but the go getting the wisdom the will power at any cost will not be reduced but it will be tempered with wisdom with knowledge and with relationships now if mars goes into the nakshatra is ruled by saturn all the three nakshatras ruled by saturn have water energies so saturn itself is a icy planet and has all three nakshatras lying in the water signs which means when mars gets into these nakshatras because they are saturn ruled nakshatras so the commitment the loyalty the dedication the hard working nature the serving attitude the servitude attitude will come in 
but also with the fiery resolve of mars the go getting the ruthless as a resolve of mars however because they all water sign energies whichever nakshatra it goes in if it goes into pushya all from the padas are in cancer if it goes into anuradha all four padas are in scorpio if it gets into uttara bhadra pada all four padas in are in pisces sign so here yeah, basis which sign it goes in that sign's flavor will also come in but because they are water energies this person is very deep very emotional also but towards a social cause towards people towards serving others being very loyal very committed very dedicated very disciplined very strategic in how he or she gets what they want but with the will power of mars sometimes these people can also be very good technical people also very good engineers also and will be very flexible in how they apply their skills how they apply their competence especially if it gets into pushya high emotionality but since still because it is the cancer sign the high resolve will come in but also the emotionality may be taking over even mars resolve on the other hand if it goes into anuradha very very strong depth all four padas are in scorpio mars is very very comfortable in scorpio so this is a very deep person very magnetic person very research oriented person so this person can spend hours long hours to research to be able to do analysis to be able to find solution to be, be to be a healer so high empathy high fluidity high sense of loyalty dedication and hard work high go getting spirit and to be able to go to the depths and to extract the results if it goes into uttara bhadra pada all four padas in pisces very very idealistic very very giving but sometimes can be little unrealistic also being too idealistic not understanding what the people around are doing what the people around are about so sometimes can also be misled especially because this has the servitude attitude can become very idealistic in serving and sometimes ends up giving the most to others not even keeping even a little bit for self not even fighting a little bit for self and emotion high emotion high emotionality high idealism takes over so one has to be little careful mars goes into the nakshatra of uttara bhadra pada on the other hand if mars gets into the nakshatra is ruled by rahu all the three nakshatra is ruled by rahu are the air energies for example if mars goes into ardra all four padas are in gemini if it's in swati all four padas are in libra if it's satvabisha all four padas are in aquarius however because the rahu energy is also there because rahu rules these nakshatras so mars and rahu's combination extremely deadly combination extremely extremely goal oriented combination but because of the nakshatra energies for example if it goes into ardra gemini sign energies high communication high commu- high ability to be able to influence others to be able to say anything to anyone to be able to convince others especially mars takes over the goal orientation if it get into swati extremely good nakshatra these people will be extremely go getting and will want to win at any cost will get their goal at any cost they will be selfish also especially but in the field of relations through relations so this person will build relationships to be able to get their goals but also be will be relationship oriented will build strong relationship both for self cause also and to do for others also if it gets into satabisha extremely deep socially aware nakshatra socially aware person but with rahu energy so very strong dedication hunger to be able to achieve greediness to be able to achieve but not so much for self but for a larger cause and some bit for self with a high tactical energy high strategy energy and even bit a little bit of manipulation which rahu brings it now if mars gets into the nakshatra is ruled by ketu all the three nakshatra is ruled by ketu all of fire energies so this is a extremely strong combination but because it's ketu all the fiery resolve is for others almost completely for others very less for self these people are fighting for a much larger cause either fighting for a family fighting for the neighborhood fighting for a cause standing by a cause sometimes almost getting nothing for themselves sometimes only at the end of their life they are, they try and when they look back what did i achieve for myself what did i get they realize that there was very less that they got for themselves most of it was for others they fought for others they won for others they gave to others but it also has a different touch depending on which nakshatra it gets in if it gets into the nakshatra of ashwini all four padas in aries extremely high fire energies but a very big problem solver very big healer also will be very methodical very tactical very strategic in how they find solutions 
for other generally for a larger cost if it's get into magha this person all for padas and leo is a leader is very accountable and responsible but for his team for people who he leads the family who he leads and the goal that the person takes upon himself so extremely responsible person extremely accountable person we look at some large cause that the person can lead his team into can lead his life into and leave a big strong legacy behind if it gets into the nakshatra of moola this is phoenix energies like completely dying out and then rising from the ashes like a phoenix all for padas are in sagittarius very very fiery energies extremely adventurous extremely outgoing takes very very high risk for the sense of adventure for the sense of winning for the killing spirit but many times ends up doing for others works beyond boundaries is extremely open very very liberal in his or her thinking and gets to the root of the problem which also mula represents so very very strong healers problem solvers wanting to do their life wanting to lead their life for others completely dedicated to others depending on which nakshatra they get in the cause also lies accordingly and that is what mars does in the nakshatras ruled by ketu so friend now that we have talked about mars going into the nakshatras ruled by different planets what is the flavor that they get what is the character that they get what is the personality that they get however do check which nakshatra mars lies in your horoscope but in which house because the house energies will also come in or if they are in conjunction or in dosha or in aspects of other planets that flavor will also come in and will also give that permutation and combination to the energies that mars has acquired already through the nakshatras of the other planets that they are placed in so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me at the link given below till some other time in some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide irfan signing off ciao